Hello everybody and welcome to Lotus Operations and in today's quick video I'm going to show you how you can harvest an aloe vera plant to be used for medical purposes whether you want to make hand sanitizer due to the coronavirus whether you want to make um, just regular old lotion for burns and other assortment of healing properties that the aloe vera does as I mentioned, we are going to be showing you how you can harvest the gel from an aloe vera plant to be used for your everyday use. Sunburns, regular burns, cuts, abrasions, itchy dry skin, some skin disorders, not all of them, but some skin disorders. But how you can basically harvest the gel that you can be able to rub on your skin to treat those and heal those issues that you have. Now, when you have an aloe vera plant, it is good to actually harvest it every so often so it actually keeps the entire plant healthy and growing and not killing itself off. And so today, I have my aloe vera plant right down here, my first one. And then here is my second little baby right down here. And I actually got another little sprout growing out down there. But in order to keep this one alive, I've noticed some of my leaves are starting to die off here and to get cut. So we are going to basically cut the leaves, to trim them back, collect the gel from there, and to basically help all the other leaves be able to grow at a better rate and keep them all healthy and good to go. So in case I ever need them, I have what I need to basically do whatever I need to do. So here we go. Let's begin the cutting process. So. I hope that I got myself on the film, but basically all you're going to do is you're going to cut the leaf off. And I'm going to cut it from right down here. Slice through the leaf. Boom. There we go. And then I'm going to trim this leaf here. Since it's got a little bit of issues, we're going to boom right through there. Boom, boom. And then we are going to actually, I think we should do the third leaf. The third one that's looking pretty bad. So we are going to seal it off through there. So we've got our three worst leaves out of the group. And as you can see here inside this, you can see the clear gel inside the aloe vera. The shiny, nice gel spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to harvest that gel out of the aloe veras, put them into another container, and then we are going to save it for later purposes. Okay, so... What I like to do when I harvest my aloe vera is I like to have as clean of a surface as possible since you're going to be using this as ointment. You want the least amount of contaminations inside your medicine as possible. So as you see, we've got our leaves here. I've got my napkin that I'm going to be cutting them on here. And I've got a bag that I'm going to be storing it in. So we're going to get our knives and we're going to begin to cut this. So now what you want to do is you want to have your knife. You want to basically shave this stuff out. So you're just going to shave the top layer and then you're going to scrape that off. And then the inside gel stuff right here. It's what you want to collect. So let's begin the shaving process. Let's begin to cut it. So now I've seen this done many a times. This is my second attempt of ever shaving this. So let's see how good I can get this time. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to shave it along the top lines like this. Going down the top as skin like you're skinning a fish. As you can see, all the gel there. So we're going to take this and we're going to shave this down. We don't want too much gel cut out. So you want to thin cutting the top as possible. So we can get as much gel as possible. So it's better if you have a really, 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 really sharp knife. And if you're really good at skinning fish, this is going to be nothing for you. Yeah. So here, here. And then we're going to do this, cut this then here. And then Boom, there we go. Now, you're never going to get 100% of the, um, the aloe vera out. And now, so what we're going to do now is we are going to basically 
take this. Now, if you're going to mix this with rubbing alcohol, you want to take this and put this inside of a blender with an alcohol ratio. It depends on how much rubbing alcohol you want in there to blend it up because this is actually kind of firm. It's not a liquidy. So if you put it into a blender and blend it up, it makes it more like the stuff you buy from the store with the aloe vera, more liquidy version. But for storage purpose right now and for um, what I'm going to do it for, I'm just going to keep it as strong of a gel as possible. Store it in the bag and then when I need it, boom, I'm good to go. But as you can see right here, this is basically the gel light substance that we want to harvest out of the Decide to retrieve a bowl to make it easier to scrape in so I'm not trying to play the guessing game and stuff like that. So we are going to scrape this off into the bowl. And so as you can see how it's kind of easy, but it gives you a little bit of resistance on scraping up. That's why they say if you want this, oops, we don't want that in there. You want to put this into a blender because this stuff is not the easiest to get off. You know what I may end up doing? I may end up filleting both sides. As you can see, look at all this. Look at all of this stuff here. Like that. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Is fillet both sides of the aloe vera ointment. Hey, at least my hands are going to be healthy. Right? Yeah. Ugh. So, let's fillet the other side of this. What the? Ugh. Looks like freaking snot. Better video. Cut the first one off. Now we start the fillet process. Start the top again. And continue on until... It is 100% collected. Now, as you can see, this is all three leaves fully basically harvested. And this is all the gel that was given to me from that. I'm going to attempt to put all this into these medicine thingamajigs right here to preserve them in the refrigerator. And um, if I need to harvest more, I will harvest more leaves at the moment. But yes, that's basically the entire progress on how to harvest aloe vera to store up for burns. Other topical applications, whether it be sunburn, scrapes, cuts, rashes, dry skin, skin issues. Aloe vera's have a lot of good healing properties. Now, I don't know every single healing property, but supposedly they can do a lot for your body. Do not eat them, though. They say that aloe vera is not toxic to the body, but you have to grab the right species. According to what I've done on my research, some species are poisonous. Um, but they never specified exactly what species are, have not yet to find them. There's over 400 species of aloe veras. Some are toxic, some are not. So you need to make sure that yours is not a toxic one if you want to eat it. But I would not risk it to eat. I'd rather just use it for skin applications, stuff like that, and stick with other food sources. Um, if you actually know what species is toxic, please comment below and let me know so we can inform everybody what is and what is not safe to eat. I hope you enjoyed this video. Lotus Operations out and be safe, y'all. Okay, everybody, there you have it. The three leaves of my aloe vera plants filled up an entire Walgreens medicine um, container that's normally used for certain prescriptions. And the best place to store this in to let it last as long as possible is in a refrigerated environment. So it's best to store it in your refrigerator. And then as you need it, you just take it out, dab it on, whatever. Um, like I said, blend it up if you want it more jelly-like. If you want it just like this consistency, keep it as this. But, yep, just wanted to show you. So three plants fills up one of these. So I technically could cut three more leaves to fill up the other one. But 
I only need three at the moment. I'm not going to kill all the leaves off. So, okay. Y'all have fun.